Time is running out for the hedge funds. But the good news is for the Ape Nation is we have all the time in the world. All we have to do is hold on. The pressure is on them. Please keep that in mind. So we're going to be covering a couple quick things for you. This video will be short, sweet, and to the point. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe. In addition to talking about AMC, I also talk about cryptocurrency. And uh, also, if you guys can, hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm, lets me know that you like the video. Click the bell icon so that you know whenever we have a new video. And feel free to share this video if you find it to be helpful. Please keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion, and I highly encourage you to go do your own research. I'm on Twitter if you guys want to check me out at CryptoAtlasYT. My handle is right below the webcam here, as you guys can see on screen. Let's go ahead and get on into this. The AMC short interest rate is up 13.77% of the free float, up approximately 0.41% for the day. So we are seeing more people still holding their grounds, thinking that this is overvalued for whatever reason and that it's going to go down. Um, these people are insane, if you want my opinion. But it gets even crazier, is that the dark pool, we're actually seeing an increase in the positions. That That's right. That means that there's more shares that have been taking place over on the dark pool. 546 million shares. These people are just utter scumbags that are doing all this stuff. And the price is going to have to be paid at some point. So, you know, whether it's very soon or if it's going to take longer, it's a really hard question to define and to put an exact date on, obviously. But I'm going to go ahead and speculate a little bit on it myself so that we can try and keep an eye on a specific date and see if, based on a fundamental standpoint at least, if that's actually going to take place. I understand. AMC is not based on a lot of fundamentals with what's been going on as far as the drive and the movement goes, but I think it's still valuable information to have us to take into consideration regardless, because if anything was to try and move based on a fundamental standpoint from a psychological standpoint, well, then I think there could be a strong rally from especially the ape side moving into something like this, which then could be the driving point where more of these margin calls start to get actually enacted, especially with the new ruling that just took place. And that's, you know, getting started officially tomorrow for Thursday. Calls in the money is currently at 91,545. We have 650,000 shares available to borrow, and there's about 2 million of the ETF shares available to borrow. With the calls in the money right now, trying to push to the $60, it's about, um, I don't have it in front of me, and I apologize about that, but I believe it was around 28,000 calls or so. So $60 is still on the table, and closing out above $60 for the week would still be very helpful, regardless of whatever else goes on. So, you know, that's a big driving point. We keep dangling around that, and we're pushing really close to that range. In fact, even today, we actually passed above $60, pushing all the way up to right around $61 before it had a further retracement back down. Now I'm going to go ahead and dive on into the price action and give you guys my speculation on when we could potentially see a big move. This is a symmetrical triangle. And based on this kind of a position here, what I did is try to find, find what was the most common trend positions formation of three instances or more ideally right you can do two but if you have three or more then the better and ideally you want to try to avoid stuff that's going on with the wicks most of the time they try and reference things with the body it's more substantiated because wicks can be very short very volatile so i went ahead and uh, tried to find my best positions in reference to this and by doing so i'm looking at around june 30th the end of this month which would make sense for a lot of reasons. You know, it's the it's the end of the month. We're getting ready to move into the next position, and you have call options and and a lot of other things that are taking place there right at the very end of the month. People also wanting to try and make decisive moves before everything gets going on for the month of July, as we are going to be closing out the second quarter, right? So by doing so with this, we only have a sep a couple days left to be able to really try and see where this is going to be moving. So in between now and then, 
Keep an eye out on a potential drop down to around $52.94. You could even potentially see a fake out that drops down a little bit further, but I would be mainly looking at testing of support on the Fibonacci sequence at here in the 0.5. That's around $54.16. So right now we're seeing a little bit of this consolidation going back and forth. If it starts to wind up and decides to make a major move, there's two directions that something like this could actually take place. Here is the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario would be that uh, here tomorrow, let's say, it just massively plummets, breaks way down below some of these key levels. We could see it go all the way down to $15.61. I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow, but let's just say that that was. Now, if we extended this out a little bit more and it waited till basically that final breaking point, then we could see it drop all the way down to right around $19. Again, very substantial drop, but I don't think that's going to happen with all the support that we have going on. Something absolutely crazy would have to take place. So I think the better case scenario, what is more likely, and it's just my opinion, what we're leaning to, is that we see a breakout. And this breakout, guys, if this takes place, check this out. This is actually really cool. This pushes it all the way up to almost $95 which would break above these key levels of resistance. My main key level is actually here right around the $64 range. I know that there's a lot of talk about $63, but when I'm looking at it from a Fibonacci sequence position, I'm saying that we see bounces taking place on the $64 range in reference to that previous all-time high back on June 2nd. So breaking above all the way there also puts us basically right on the line for the 1.618 Fibonacci sequence. So it reinforces this die idea even stronger. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I would really, really keep an eye on that price level, guys. So in the next week or so, if this moves on fundamentals, just based on pure psychology in this regard, and you factor in potentially margin calls on things, I think we could very well end up seeing another nice little push up and testing right around in this range. Whether or not it's going to just keep on going, or we'll have to kind of wait and see, right? And this is just speculation, but hey, if you were to try and look a little bit more attentively at any specific date, I'd say by June 30th, that is a position that makes a lot of sense to me, and as you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to go and wrap up the video there. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button, click the bell icon. I do have reference links in the description, so if you want to get some free stock or free cryptocurrencies, feel free to check those out. It's a nice way to help show your support for the channel too. Let me know if you think that June 30th sounds like it makes a lot of sense to also really keep an eye on, and don't get discouraged, okay? If this doesn't happen by then, it's a waiting game, and right now, we're in a stronger position. So we're all in this together. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next episode.